Let's talk about configurations in Alibre, what they are and how to use them. Let's go through a hypothetical that I want to sit down and design a business card holder. And in order to do that, I have to decide how it's going to be made, but I just can't decide between injection molding and machining. So I've got my four by six business card holder that I've dimensioned out. I'll extrude that to one inch. And then I'll make a little place for the business cards. Normally business card dimensions are three and a half by two. So maybe I'll go four by two and a half. And as I'm designing this, I still can't decide if I want this to be injection molded or machined. Well, maybe I can have my cake and eat it too because of configurations. From here, I can drop this carrot down and see that I have a default configuration one. You, of course, can rename your configurations, and maybe I'll do so. I'll call it machined. Maybe I want to make a version of this that's injection molded. Well, that's easy. I can select new configuration, and under name, I'll select injection molded. And no, you'll notice I have locks. Well, if locks are a confusing concept, let's go through an experimental approach to find out what that is all about. So I'm going to say locked here. And then I'll go back to configurations, make a new configuration, and we'll simply call this one unlocked. And I'm going to unselect everything here so that this would be known as being completely unlocked. And we'll take a look at how these update and behave as we work on them. So let's design a machined business card holder. I'll simply add fillets out here and also external fillets are almost always a great idea. So we'll apply that and really we've got a part that would be machinable now. So let's take a look at our injection molded part. I activate my injection molded configuration and you'll see that the fillets I've just added are suppressed. So this is a locked configuration that does not capture changes made to other configurations. That's great. Well from here we have the luxury of designing a, an injection molded part. For injection molds, I'll need some draft. And so I'll select a neutral plane here and draft these internal faces. We are currently set on draft outward, which is exactly what we want. And I'll give that a five degree draft. If I look at it from the top, you can see these faces are leaning five degrees outwards now. I'll accept that and then we'll go back to draft. I'll select my neutral plane down here and then for my draft faces, I'll select these four outside faces. And you can tell that we're drafting outward still. So I'll uncheck this box. And now you should be able to see the inward draft on all faces. So we're gonna say okay on that. Let's fill it this. I'll turn that down to a quarter inch. And then and then select this top face and the four corners. And that should smooth everything out and have the adequate draft to meet what we need to make injection molded parts. We'll apply that and of course with the molding we'll need a constant thickness so we'll simply shell this out and go with uh, about a thickness of 075 and there we've got something that looks like it could be injection molded. So let's take a look at these behaviors now. I'll go back to my machined configuration And when making that active, we can see that it is just the same as we left it. And all the changes that we've made for injection molding are suppressed. Likewise, if I go to my unlocked part, let's see what that looks like. Well, that has captured all of the features that we did for the machine part 
and all of the features that we've done for the injection molding part. So the moral of the story here is unlock parts, capture all the changes you make to other configurations, whereas lock parts, the changes you make only affect themselves. So when I go to make a new configuration, I have specific and individual features that I would say, oh yeah, I would sure like my parameter values I put on other configurations to not affect the configuration I'm making now. And I don't want colors, right? I want this to have its own unique color and so on and so forth. So every box that I check here is something that will not be affected by other configurations. So if I uncheck this box and I give another configuration a color, then that color will show up on my part. For instance, if I go to my machine part and I decide I want this to be more of a metallic, darker color, even though this will probably be made out of, be made out of aluminum, which is pretty light. And then I come over here to unlocked, why the color has updated, but I go to my injection molded part and the color has not. Now you can injection mold in just about every color of the rainbow. So maybe I would like a purple business card holder. Come over here to unlocked and the color has updated. So unlocked will capture the latest updates from any configuration if we leave that unlocked. Now I may ask myself, oh, you know what? I forgot to put in a little thumb indention so you can actually grab the business card sitting in this holder. Maybe I would like to make an update there. So in, in this, maybe I decide that I need to lengthen the part and make a little thumb indention for uh, you know your thumb to fit in and pull a business card out. Well, I need to edit my tree. So I'll go back to sketch one, edit my tree. We'll make that something like eight. Well, that's a starting to get a be a really long business card holder and then I'll generate to the last feature everything updated fine but what about the business card holders that I've made before right if I edit the tree very early on does it show up well no it does not so once I make a configuration it is completely independent of the previous or other configurations that I have made Right, so for instance, maybe I want to change my machined version and I edit the sketch and I go down to three point five and then I update everything and it updates fine. Even my original configuration, which was the machined one, the changes are not captured. So when things are locked, they're independent of each other and they will not update. But I always have the option to unlock my uh, configurations here. And if I go to machined and activate that, and I decide that I want a really shallow extrusion here, maybe negative 0.1, and I update that, then I go back to my injection molded configuration and that updates as well. If I generate to the last feature, you can tell that my fillet breaks because I made a, a dimension that is impossible to satisfy putting that fillet in. So you have the ability to lock and unlock your configurations, but do so with great care so that you don't create a part that has a bunch of mistakes in it unintentionally when editing another configuration. For that reason, I suggest almost always to keep configurations locked. And always keep in mind as well that with these configurations, you can start off by capturing the changes of some parameters, but not others. You can update your colors with other configurations while not updating your parameter values, for instance. While working in these configurations, maybe I would like to fork it again and make a new configuration. So we've gone over that we can have some changes from other configurations captured and some not. For instance, I may want to capture the color changes from other configurations. And so in this case, I can capture part data and color properties from other configurations, but I won't capture feature suppression or parameter values. Additionally, I can make my new configuration from 
other configurations that already exist. So I can choose to make a configuration based on my machine version or my injection molded version or this disaster of a version that caught all the changes and has some broken features in it. <laughs> so if I activate that, you can see it just copies everything being broken, right? That fillet's totally broken. So uh, that is how we deal with configurations. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the Libre channel and we'll see you in the next one.